Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 37. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. Right, so we're here for the semi-pro powertrain races. We're starting off with a five-cylinder, fast and fun, Bernie's Alps, Top Gear Test Track, Sunset Peninsula Raceway, Sedona Raceway, and then Sebring. Let's get going. All right, so we're here for Bernie's Alps. Let's do this. Yeah, going back from the previous topic, which obviously there's a new YouTube video, so if you want to find out about the previous topic, you'll have to go to the previous video. Um, yeah, the one, the one issue that I have is the fact that the housing market is currently designed like, the housing market in the UK is designed for two people. It's designed for two people. They, they've basically gone, right, well, here, I've got a property that's got one bedroom. So one bedroom can sleep two people. So two people is going to be in this property. Two people on a full-time's wage is £3,500. So I'm going to take 1500 of that. That seems like a decent number. For a two two working people, right? And they're going off that logic of, right, well, oh, there's four people. Oh, two bedrooms, right? Four people must live in here. So that must be £7,000 a month. So that means we're going to charge 3000 for this property. And it's daft. It's some of the dumbest shit I have ever seen. And on, on top of that, right, you then mix in the fact, okay, yeah, fair enough. Right, if you've got two people living in an apartment, a, a one-bedroom apartment, right, they're going to charge you a grand and a bit for it. Obviously, you've got bills on top of that as well, so you have to remember that bills are a thing. On top of that, they then turn around and go... So, you you work out an apartment, one one and a half grand for t for a for a decent apartment, and then on top of that, they're then going to charge bills. You're looking at about fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred for the bills. That that's one person's full time wage for bills, necessities, and extras, right? And then on top of that, right, and the ironic part about that is the housing market expects, you, you go back 20 years ago, the housing market didn't expect people to be like two people living in a, a one bedroom, right? Now the housing market expects that in a time where the dating market and for people to try and find a second person is that it's most difficult in hundreds of years. Which is such a fucking ironic way of putting it. Like, you go back 20 years ago, it was a million times easier on the data market. And the housing market didn't expect you to be living with two people. So, it was easy as fuck. Everything was easy as fuck. Now... They're expecting you to be as a couple. But it's also difficult as fuck to become a couple. <laughs> so, the housing is... Oh, it's just so backwards. It's greed. It's straight up greed. There are greedy people out there that want a lot of money for little to no work. Like, I kid you not, the landlord of this place does fuck all. He doesn't come over, repair stuff, like, he's, he does nothing. At all. So. As far as I'm concerned, yeah, they're sitting doing nothing and getting ridiculous amounts of money. 
Oh, they can physically fit more houses. That's the issue. The UK has the space for house. There are so many houses in the UK, right? That there might not be space for m new builds, but there are plenty of houses that are completely unoccupied, like in town centres. Uh, which is surprising. Town centre seems to be the least desirable place to stay in, but they're so expensive. There are plenty of houses in the UK that are unoccupied. And you'd be so surprised. Like, if you were to go down the road that I live at, 20-30% of them are unoccupied houses. Nobody lives in them. At all. Ouch. It's ridiculous. The thing is, you can't tell from the outside if a house is being lived in or not. Because most of the time, landlords will put up, like, things to make a house look lived in. Because it looks more appealing when you're trying to sell or rent out a house. But the difference is, like, the thing is, living in a city should be the least desirable. People don't want to live in a city. I don't want to live in a city. If, if the option was there, right, if I was earning enough from YouTube that I could go move out, right, if I could get two grand a month from YouTube, right, I could move out somewhere in the middle of nowhere, I could get Sainsbury's deliveries every day to my house. Well, well, not every day. But I could get the shopping delivered so I don't have to worry. And I can just cook my food at home. I can cook food at home and then I could work. I'd live in the middle of nowhere if I could. And I would. But the issue is that's not very practical. You have to have a lot of money for that. But the houses out there are the cheapest. Again, it seems completely backwards. And again, it doesn't help. Minimum wage should be £20 in the UK at the moment. The minimum wage should be £20. Inflation the past few years has gone up. Almost 50% in the past few years. And minimum wage has gone up about 5%. So, you know, the UK is slowly being screwed... Or residents of the UK are being screwed over. is young there we go not bad i will take that sorry i was just reading some text messages living in a small village honestly i would quite easily live i mean the the issue is living in a village actually seems like quite a nice thing to do but the problem is that it's just so I mean, it's more expensive in a village. Like a new village. I just wish that there was a way that I could... I know I'm never going to be able to buy a house in my life. I just wish that old people would shut up about how... Like, oh, you spend... You spend £10 on Netflix, so if you... Didn't spend Netflix for 10 years. That would be 
15,000 pounds towards that. Yeah, well, that 15,000 pounds has gone towards my sanity and saving me on 100,000 on therapy bills. So, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's just one of the funniest. Genuinely. The minimum wage has gone up. What, three times? In the last 40 years? Like, in the last 40 years, it's like triple the amount it was. But the cost of a new house has gone up about 20 times. The minimum wage should have gone up about 20 times. Yeah. In the future, they'll get to a point where it's even worse, I think. The issue is, that's not how it should be. It shouldn't be the fact that, oh, my time was better than your time, or whatnot. You should be able to fucking live. I should be able to get a decent house for the wage that I'm getting. The requirement that you have to work 40 hours a week seems a bit out of far-fetched anyways. Like, oh, do, do you know what? Five out of the seven days of your week has to be dedicated to businesses and earning money so that you can spend and live life only two days of the week. And by that point, you're tired. So one of those days of the week is to recharge for the next five days. The expectation that people should, like, genuinely, it, it blows my mind. Hence why, if I can do streaming full-time, it's just the ideal job. And I'll let it go to waste. I love it, but I hate the taste. Society's so broken, and there's nothing we can do about it. Oh my god, it's so hot. It is now 31 degrees. It's going up even more. Yeah, retirement age keeps going up as well, which is great. It's gone up now. I think it's 67, if I'm not mistaken. Or it's either gone, just gone up to 65. your business. Hey, hey. Get out the way. Get out the way. Hey, hey. Pretty much. Which is absolutely nuts. I also don't know how it's possible, but uh, my grandparents, right, they are earning collectively more than my wage tripled. And I'm at work. 
They're getting it from pensions. That makes zero sense. Because how on earth can they get that much money from a pension? When on top of that, they then get... It, it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Yo, Corrupted, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Welcome to the stream. I sl it's nuts. When they, when I was speaking to them the other day, and they were like, ah, oh, so our, our pensions have come through. It's going to be X, Y, Z. And I'm like, huh? Let me retire now. absolutely nuts but where does that money come from I don't get it because realistically speaking numbers wise for you to earn enough money to do that you'd have to pay over half of your wage yeah I, I am but the issue so the issue with my ADHD diagnosis is the fact that because I'm capable of work like I'm physically able to go and work they don't give a shit so, DLA, PIP, everything like that, they don't care. And that's the issue with it. Like, I'm physically unable, like, mentally, I'm unable to do work for 40 hours a week. Every, every single time I've done 40 hours for more than two, three weeks, it's draining. It's mentally draining for someone with ADHD. And that is the, the issue with our system, right? Problem is... Right? I, I don't expect to be given all things for free. That's not what I expect. 100%. Yeah, mo money for, for old people comes from everyone else working. Yeah, 100%. But it's just it's just crazy. And when you think about it, like... The issue with... How, like, I don't expect someone to drop everything and just be like, right, here you go, have it for free and whatnot. But things should be of a reasonable price. I should be able to get, if I'm working reduced hours like I am at the moment, I should be able to get a roof on my house. I should be able to get food and transport. I don't need to go... Uh, I need to go to the theme park once a month or those extra things. I need to go out drinking. I don't even spend a ridiculous amount of money on, like, niceties, like, nice things. But it's out of, like, even housing bills are out of my price range and it's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Fair enough, Corrupted. I, I've never played that, so I wouldn't know uh, what it's like or what it's about. Ouch. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, everything's out of my price range, and it's like... But the thing is, like, society isn't built to support people that struggle. I struggle to, to work more than 40 hours a week. Evanescence. Bring me to life. Can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Call my name and save me from the dark. What a tune. I love this song. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I've heard about Genshin, so... 
but again, I've, I've heard of it. That's like the level that I know. I've heard of it, never played it. I don't intend on playing it either. I don't think it'll be my cup of tea. Better, better. Evanescence and Imagine Dragons Radioactive collab. Oh my god, that would be so good. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.